M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. On the left, we've got the ARDV10 scanner. On the right, we've got the ICOM R30 scanner. So what's the key differences? They both actually receive HF. You can hear now, we've got some weak signals here. Now they've gone, let's, let's find another one a minute. On the ICOM. Let's just get that step a bit bigger. So we hit this step here. Go a bit bigger, enter. Try and find someone a bit stronger. There's someone there. And we get it single receive as well. There's someone there, look. That's HF receive. If we turn it down. Same frequency, 7.172. Now with the AOR, we're in VFO mode. So you just go menu, then select number one. Look, VFO, then enter. You just type the frequency. So we're going to go, we're going to type this one. So we'll go 7.172. Let's see if it lets me put in the 60. It does. Turn it up. You can see it's. It's definitely weaker, and they're two long wires. Normally, it would receive. Let's just tune it back a little bit. Nothing obvious. If you do the larger the these buttons, you can get some. It does receive HF. I don't know if it's brilliant. I mean, if it's strong signals, it's quite good. But anyway. Let's turn it down. Just one key thing with this is, is knowing how to fine tune. So to fine tune, you go menu and then go to nine. Hit the nine. And see here at the top, you've got steps. Press enter. Turn, you know, the fine tune one is 0.10, I find is the best one. But just remember that whenever you set anything here, you have to go back down. Oops. Leave that naught. Enter. Go down. And you have to hit OK to parameters, otherwise it doesn't save it. So then you can clear and you go back out. Turn it up with the smaller knob, you know, the top, top knob. And tune through for your HF. So we turn it down, turn this one back up. You'll see that, now if I swap the antennas, let's see if we receive it on the DV10. It's always interesting. So that, swap the antennas. See, it's not really getting it, is it? But if we turn down the DV10, look. The icon gets it straight away. So that says a lot. Now, remember that the icon is going to pick up D-Star very well. And an XDN. So if you hit the mode button, we're in LSB. But if you go down, you've got upper sideband, lower sideband, CW, FM. Of course, air band, marine band, but look, you've got P25, DPMR, and D star, and it does it really well. Um, and I was just listening to my hotspot just now, and it's very clear. The also the DV10 does DMR, D star, and fusion, and that's really unusual to get all of that into one in one place DMR, D star, and fusion. Let me fire up my D star hotspot. Right, a couple of hotspots on the go there. The bottom one is DMR, which is set on the ARDV10, and the top one is actually D Star. Just need someone to speak now. So that's us linking to D Star with the icon. There's the ARDV10. You're really clearly getting DMR, no problem at all. Let someone call back. You're hearing that tone, so I've got it on auto. auto. I've got it on auto select, that's why there's a delay. And they do, the icon, just so you know, does get GPS, but not, not right now. Um... 
afternoon time to you, Eric. Hope everything is fine and well with you and your family. You're sounding good. Q5, crystal clear, loud and proud. Excellent. Now, now, if you look here, at my, this is my fusion hotspot. So if I type that frequency in, so we go 4, no, the, yeah, 3, the, I think the hemisphere dot, the, uh, who has the lowest voice. <laughs> we're now listening to C4 okay, FM. And it will even receive the D star as well. So the icon cannot do that. We can do HF Marine Band. I do. Let's turn that right down a minute. I do really like the icon. Don't get me wrong. I think it's one of the best scanners ever made. Uh, really high quality, and it it's the best one that I've got for receiving HF. There's D star coming in now. Uh, how, however, the um, information I, I does have, come in, the uh, call signs. A wonderful couple of years when I was a kid. But it's intermittent. On it's a shame we're not getting years, any GPS. And certainly learn the ropes with a dipole. Normally we'll get it in this shack antenna. eventually. And um, I, I really had no idea at the time what that was setting me up for for the rest of my life. So that's it. I thought I'd just give you an overview. You asked a DV mega hotspot. I did. So. I appreciated your story regarding resistor. And they are touch screen. Something similar to that. Of course, to be able to... You can get these on AliExpress. You had to be able to look at those little Just resistors. type in R Finder hotspot, built-in batteries. Anyway... Uh, Needs charging, nice but completely portable. Uh, I hope you enjoy the, the DV10, the you know, it's an expensive device, but it does, it receives everything. The ICOM nearly receives everything, but no DMR fusion. Otherwise, I recommend them all, to be honest. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now.